South China Morning Post, 15th of June 2023, China approves constructing a nuclear power plant that uses thorium, a fuel that may supply the nation with electricity for 20,000 years. China, which lacks uranium, is developing thorium power plants using technology stolen from India. An important step in China's pursuit of cutting-edge nuclear technologies has been made with the issuance of an operational permit for the country's first thorium reactor by the country's nuclear safety watchdog. The Shanghai Institute of Applied Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences runs the reactor, a 2-megawatt liquid-fueled thorium molten salt reactor MSR, which is situated in Wuwei, a city in the Gansu province and is located in the Gobi Desert. The National Nuclear Safety Administration granted the Shanghai Institute a permit on June 7 that authorizes them to operate the reactor for 10 years, beginning with testing. According to the permission, the Shanghai Institute is responsible for the reactor's safety and must adhere to all applicable legal and technical requirements. Thorium MSRs are an example of advanced nuclear technology that uses liquid fuels as fuel and a coolant, often molten salts. They may be superior to conventional uranium reactors in several ways, including safety, waste reduction, and fuel efficiency. In addition, thorium is a more plentiful resource than uranium, and China has sizable thorium reserves. According to nuclear industry specialists who beg not to be identified because they were not authorized to speak to the media, the reactor represents a significant accomplishment for China's nuclear energy sector. They claimed it demonstrated the nation's advancements in the creation and application of cutting-edge nuclear technologies and established China as a prospective world leader in the field of thorium reactor technology. To progress technology and address technical difficulties, the Shanghai Institute has also started a follow-up project in the exact desert location, a small-scale modular thorium molten salt reactor research facility. According to the Institute, small-scale modular reactors provide several advantages, such as flexibility, improved safety measures, and cost-effectiveness. The widespread application of thorium reactor technology has the potential to raise China's level of energy sector competitiveness worldwide. It might improve China's energy security, establish it as a world leader in cutting-edge nuclear technology, and promote environmental sustainability. However, according to industry experts, if the reactors are to be effectively deployed on a big scale, several technical, regulatory, and economic difficulties will have to be solved. Previous tries came up empty. Despite the project's 2011 debut, the building didn't begin until 2018. The groundbreaking event made national headlines because the building contractor hired Taoist monks to pray for divine blessings for the high-tech project. The reactor's construction was supposed to take six years. Still, scientists and engineers finished it in only approximately three years because the plans were copied from India, which had already solved all the issues. In addition, Thorium is a more plentiful resource than uranium, and China has sizable thorium reserves. According to the permit, it took more than two years for environmental regulators to certify that the plant satisfied the strictest safety criteria. Although India was the first to construct a thorium reactor and currently runs a few thorium nuclear power plants, China has not made any previous attempts that have progressed past the practical level. The molten salt reactor experiment was carried out by the American Oak Ridge National Laboratory ORNL, between 1965 and 1969, successfully demonstrating the viability of a thorium MSR. However, it did not advance to commercial use due to several circumstances, including insufficient finance and changing priorities. The aircraft reactor experiment, Another early thorium MSR experiment by the ORNL in the 1950s, sought to create a small, portable reactor for future use in aircraft. However, the project ran into technical difficulties, such as problems with corrosion and fuel containment, which ultimately caused it to be abandoned. Additionally, India has been working on thorium-based nuclear technologies, such as MSRs. The 1980s saw the start of the Indian Molten Salt Breeder Reactor Project, which produced a breeder reactor based on thorium. The project has advanced to commercial use. However, it has encountered difficulties with materials compatibility, fuel reprocessing, and general system complexity. China was able to use it as leverage. She was turning critical. After the initial fuel loading, the thorium MSR will conduct tests according to the information specified in the permit. The first step toward criticality, or the point at which a nuclear reaction becomes self-sustaining, is included in the test. 
This critical step in the reactor's startup procedure needs carefully controlled parameters to ensure a safe advancement toward an independent state. Another test entails purposefully shutting down the reactor or lowering its power level below 90% of its maximal capability. It is crucial to have control over this process to guarantee that the reactor is running within safe parameters and that any modifications or adjustments are authorized and subject to monitoring. According to the permit, a test report must be submitted to the National Nuclear Safety Administration within two months of finishing all the tests included in the testing plan. Thorium follows uranium. One of the most fabulous thorium reserves in the world is thought to be in China. Although the precise amount of such reserves has not been made public, it is believed sufficient to satisfy the nation's energy requirements for more than 20,000 years. The resource's abundance makes it a desirable choice for China. Molten salt reactors may aid in expanding China's nuclear energy supply to inland towns if they are effective and practical for commercial deployment. The adaptability of thorium MSRs in terms of location is one of their benefits. More effective heat transmission is made possible by using molten salts and a cool and as fuel techniques may also eliminate the need for substantial amounts of water, which is advantageous in regions with few water supplies. China may be able to build nuclear power facilities in places that are far from coastal areas by employing thorium MSRs. By doing so, the nation's energy mix might be more diverse, its reliance on fossil fuels could be lessened, and the rising energy needs of inland regions could be satisfied. While China has made strides in creating and applying thorium MSR technology, some nuclear specialists pointed out that this did not imply that all technical obstacles had been clear. Developing and implementing new nuclear technology, such as thorium MSRs, can be expensive. They said that China is interested in further lowering the cost of the technology, as evidenced by the start of the Shanghai Institute's small-scale modular thorium molten salt reactor project. Typically, these reactors are manufactured in factories before being shipped to the installation location. They can be set up in various settings, including isolated or off-grid areas. Because of their reduced size and more straightforward scalability, they can add capacity gradually in response to changes in energy demand. The modular method of construction and installation may result in a decrease in project duration and construction expenses. Construction can be completed more quickly and cheaply if components can be produced in a factory and transported to the job site. According to reports, as part of Beijing's global infrastructure program, the Belt and Road Initiative, China intends to sell tiny thorium reactors to other nations. For nations or areas with lower energy needs or less developed grid infrastructure, they can provide an entry point into nuclear power. They are more accessible and commercially viable for these areas due to their smaller capacity and modular design.